Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses RC to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're taking another look at Project T Max. So, Project T Max, uh, for those of you who may just be joining us, um, is one of our long term projects, one of the probably one of the funnest trucks that we have uh, here in the garage. And this used to be a nitro car, but we converted it to an electric. Uh, using the Hobby Wing Easy Run 3656 motor here and also the Hobby Wing WP SC8 speed control. Uh, so, this transmission is actually out of uh, an Emax, which was the electric version of the T Max. And uh, this is actually an older transmission out of the 3906 Emax. And this, believe it or not, this car I got for $30 off of. Craigslist, uh, and it uh, it was missing the the motor and the speed control, and of course the the radio and the battery and whatnot. But um, it was it was a complete truck otherwise, and uh, essentially I just bolted on the the motor and the speed control, um, and this battery tray. I think this is off an axial, and away we went. Uh, moved the 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 radio box here, but this is the stock radio box, uh, just with with our 2.4 gigahertz radio installed there and away we went uh, and this this truck is is an absolute hoot to drive uh, but you know there there are some shortcomings this is a pretty old truck so uh, definitely um, you know it was made before the days of brushless motors so uh, simply put the transmission and uh, the axles and whatnot were not made to handle that amount of power and torque uh, and we've we've broken quite a lot of axles here so this one you can see is, is was just twisted by the force and also uh, also cracked somewhere along here. Um, I can't find the hairline crack, but uh, definitely the, the axles are um, a, we a weak spot on this, this truck, especially when going to brushless power. Uh, also, one thing I've discovered is that there have been quite a few generations of, of the, the E-Max and T-Max. These trucks have been, again, around for uh, 10 plus years, probably 15 plus years. I, I, I need to look that up, but uh, there were a lot of iterations. So here's, here's actually another axle, and you can see a, a hairline crack right there. Uh, but even uh, within the different generations of the, the E-Max and T-Max, there are differences. So you can tell that this, uh, this axle here, uh, the yoke actually is beefier than this other one that um, that we broke, right? Uh, and you can tell that there's a curve here. There's more um, there's more reinforcement here, and and the actual axle is is thicker all around the plastics and whatnot. Um, so you can upgrade these, and a great place to go is is Dollar Hobbies. We get a lot of our replacement parts off of Dollar Hobbies. You're able, you're able to get complete sub assemblies and whatnot as well. So uh, the discount uh, and savings is substantial there. Um, so uh, one thing that I've actually been tossing around is is whether to upgrade to the even later generation of of axles and whatnot. This is just a mangled um, front uh, subframe here off of a of a T Max uh, that we got, and uh, these you can see that these axles are much beefier. Uh, these are actually shared with the the Revo and E Revo. I believe. So um, that might be in the cards, or we might just upgrade to uh, a completely uh, new chassis or the chassis that this assembly came off of and, and keep this one running the old gear. Um, so stay tuned for, for further developments there. But there is a lot of uh, you know upgradability for the, the T-Max and E-Max because it's been around for so long, uh, which is nice. Uh, another upgrade here, is the 10,000 milliamp battery from our friends over at Venom. So again, Venom was was generous enough to to donate us uh, some batteries. Um, they gave us these 10,000 milliamp hour, uh, which is huge capacity, uh, just for extended run times. This this truck will probably run for run an hour using this battery. Um, so we told them what we were doing, just bringing these trucks to the park every uh, every chance we get and letting kids drive them, run them, and, and just showing them how they work um, and, uh, you know, getting them excited about math and science, which is our, our vision and goal. So, uh, again, big shout out to, uh, to Venom Racing and um, 
uh, the rest of our supporters out there. Uh, definitely appreciate all the, uh, the help and support that we're getting. So uh, again, uh, just another quick update on, on Project TMAX, our, our budget basher here. Uh, follow us on Facebook and like and subscribe on YouTube. Thanks again for watching.